Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Ty Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to work on the Alpine Stitch. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the Alpine Stitch. I, this is such a nice stitch. Um, when I learned it, I was like, oh, wow, this is going to be a pretty easy stitch as long as you know how to double crochet and treble crochet and single crochet. So I'm going to use a 4.5 millimeter hook and just a category four. This is a forest green yarn. And I'm going to start off with an uneven number of stitches and I'm going to make 17 chains and I'll be back so I have my 17 chains here and now I'm going to do a row of double crochets so we're going to skip three chains and in the fourth chain we're going to make a double crochet if you do not know how to make a double crochet you just go into your loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and do this all the way across if you do not know how to do any of these stitches I have a beginners tutorial that you can go to to learn all of these stitches in one video so I will continue and I'll be back okay so we're at the end of the row and I have my double crochets here I'm going to chain one and turn my work and make a row of single crochets going across your chain three your chain two does not count as a double crochet yet so i'll make these and i'll be back so at the end of the row when you make your single crochet row just chain two and turn your work now i don't chain three because i just i don't like how it bulges out if you chain three for a double crochet so i only chain two but i'm going to yarn over twice because we're going to do a triple crochet in the back post of this next double crochet. So your chain counts as a double crochet. That'll make your first double crochet. Then your next stitch will be this front post triple crochet. Which I think is a double treble crochet in UK terms. So in the next stitch right next to it you're going to put a double crochet in your next stitch you're going to yarn over twice and make another triple crochet in that next stitch and the way you can tell is you see your double crochet is lined up with that double crochet in the previous row or well, in the first row rather so I'm making a triple crochet here. I'm making a back post triple crochet here. Go into the next stitch with a double crochet. And that's basically your pattern. So you make your double crochet here. Yarn over twice for your triple crochet or double treble crochet. Skip this one here because that's where you put your double crochet. Go into the next stitch behind that double crochet in the first row and make your triple crochet. So chain through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And then just continue and make a double crochet in the next stitch and keep going. And I will be back when I get to the end of this row a couple of stitches before the end okay so i'm at the end and now i need to be i'm going to make two double crochets i'm sorry this is going to be my last triple crochet so i'm going to put this one here as we did previously behind that double crochet in the first row Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and in the last stitch will be a double crochet. It's there, it may not look like it's there, but it's there. It's a double crochet, 
where it's a single crochet from the previous row. So we're making a double crochet. So now we're going to, it's like, see, now we're going to do the other half of this alpine stitch. There's more than one row for the pattern. So I want you to chain one and then turn your work. Now the reason we chain one is because we're at the back of the project now. So you want all of your stitches, all of your triple crochets and your double crochets to be in the front of your pattern. So when you get to the end of your row of making those stitches and you chain one and turn, you have to make a single crochet row. So I will be back. Okay, so we have that single crochet row done. I'm going to chain two. I only chain two when I do double crochets, only ever, only under certain circumstances. So that chain counts as a double crochet. You're going to skip the next stitch. And right in between those triple crochets is a double crochet. So now you're going to take your hook and put it behind that double crochet for a treble crochet so make sure that you yarn over twice and go into that stitch pull up and make your triple crochet pull through two if i can get it in and pull through the last two so go ahead yarn over once because in the next stitch we're going to make a double crochet And your next stitch will be a, another triple crochet. So yarn over twice and go into that stitch with your triple crochet. Remember, you're going in between those two triple crochets from the previous row. Well, from the row before the single crochet. And make this treble crochet. And this is your pattern for this row. So continue making your way across. The next stitch will be a double crochet. And the next stitch will be a triple crochet. Right behind that double crochet in the row before this, uh, before the single crochet row. So now we're at the end. And when you get to the end of the row, you're going to make one um you're gonna make two double crochets in the last stitches that are left over and that's how you make your alpine stitch so if you want to continue on and make some more you would chain one and turn your work and make another row of single crochet because remember we want all of our stitches to be towards the front so this is the back you would make that single crochet row and then chain two or three however you chain for your double crochet turn your work and continue with your alpine stitch so that is it for today with the alpine stitch Thank you for watching. Remember, you can always rewind if you don't remember how to make your stitch. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Tie Handmade Crochet. I want to thank you for staying consistent in watching and all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Have a great day.